My message to parents is to please vaccinate your children. Uh, we know the vaccines are safe. Uh, there's no evidence that they are unsafe. And so I, I, I really encourage parents to ask questions. If they have any doubts about vaccines, ask those questions. What you'll find out from your physicians and from all of the available research is that vaccines are safe. And the truth is they save lives. The, you know, I believe this, this debate is almost bordering on the ridiculous at this point where we have a country of educated people where basic vaccines are free to children. Basic vaccines are free in a universal health care system and we have educated people uh, with available information that are not vaccinating their children. And when you do that, you put other children that are potentially more vulnerable than your own at risk of getting sick and potentially dying. So I really encourage parents to get the right information. If they have misinformation that vaccines are not healthy for their children, they should look at the research. It's absolutely healthy. They should vaccinate their children. And if they don't vaccinate their children, they're in fact putting other children at risk. It's a serious issue. And you know, I would point out to a lot of Canadians that today, across the world, Canada is funding tens of millions of dollars in aid to foreign countries where children don't have a health care system and they need vaccinations, basic vaccinations. And these countries are so thankful to get the vaccinations so that their children are not exposed to serious diseases and potentially death. Here in Canada, vaccines are free. Our basic vaccination uh, protocols across the provinces are available to all children. And I really encourage parents to not pick up on this kind of misinformation and to please vaccinate your children. Remember that if you don't vaccinate your children, we're not, we're not immunizing our population. So, and you may put, your child may be healthy and be able to make it through measles and fight through a disease like measles, but the next kid in school might be vulnerable and they may not be able to sustain something like measles. So my message again is to please vaccinate your children.